We've been through the list of gods. It's in my uh, edited collection, The Portable Atheist. Mencken actually drew up a list of very nearly 10,000 gods that used to be worshipped, not anymore. Okay, 10,000 gods, maybe. But surely you are not going to perform an impossible magical feat by deducing an unimaginable conclusion from that mere fact, are you? I mean, honestly. As my friend Richard Dawkins says, everyone's an atheist. Nobody believes in the sun god Ra anymore. Nobody believes in Huitzilopochtli anymore. Nobody believes in Juno and Venus anymore. Not anymore. Um, you're all atheists as far as that's concerned. Well, my imaginary friend once said, everyone is a bachelor. Nobody is the husband of Queen Victoria anymore. Nobody is the husband of Cleopatra anymore. Nobody is the husband of a random woman in ancient Rome anymore. Nobody sees him anymore. You are all bachelors as far as that's concerned. Some of us just go one woman further. Do you look with pity on those who support or ever did such cults? All we say is make it consistent. Just go one god more and you're nearly there. That single-handedly chucked logic into the dustbin in the most unfashionable manner. Christianity, or any other religion as a matter of fact, cannot be shown to be implausible just because a Christian does not believe in other religion. This is the equivalent of arguing that because an evolutionist rejects other incompatible theories about the origin of life, he is being inconsistent and therefore he should deny evolution as well. To put it in other words, in the argument, a Christian rejects other religions, rejecting other theories in favor of yours is inconsistent, therefore a Christian is inconsistent, too is demonstrably false. I could use the second premise with the innumerable theories in science as well. Subscribe for more.